Hello Autodesk people, my name is Jay Ayala of Autodesk. I'm an engineering technical specialist based out of the Pacific Northwest and the video you're about to see is AutoCAD MEP 2010 Interference Detection Part 3. So this is the third video in a series. You've already seen how to use the interference detection tool. You've also already seen how to collaborate with the results. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use some visualization techniques to better communicate the interferences. So let's get started with what we previously had here. Let's get rid of this schedule table. And uh, you know what we want to do is we want to better communicate what we're looking at here. Now this is a 2D plan view of where these interferences are happening. Now this is after I ran the interference detection. Um, but what I want to do is I want to make this really clear for the people that I'm collaborating with. I know where these are happening, but if somebody receives this file from me, they won't know. So here's in 3D view, here is that uh, collision that I was just looking at. Let me zoom into it on plan view. So here I have the plan view. It's kind of hard to tell where that interference is until you look at the 3D view. So at this point I could take a snapshot, um, a screen capture of what's happening and I could send that out. But there are other ways that we can better capture this information. I'm going to switch back to plan view and um, let's start to clean this information up because there's a lot of stuff happening that I don't want to see. So I can simply select the tag and in the ribbon I'll use the select similar tool. That selects all of the same tags on, uh, on my screen here. Now I'll just delete them. There's also a different way to select objects. So if, if, if you want to, you can use the properties palette. There's a button in there called quick select. Now all you have to tell it is what object you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking for mass elements. And I hit OK, and it selects them all in my, in my drawing here. So what I'll do now is I'll just hit the delete key on my keyboard. All right, so now that we've got this cleaned up, let's start to try to communicate this a little bit better. It used to be that in classic AutoCAD, we had this command called camera, uh, quick camera. That tool still exists inside of AutoCAD, AutoCAD architecture, and AutoCAD MEP, but the name has changed. So if you want to find this tool, it's, it, you won't find it in the ribbons. You have to use the program button search utility. So here I'll just type any path which is the name of the command and as you do that you can see all the different options that come up for uh, for this search here so what I'm looking for is motion path animation that's also the name of the tool to, to issue the command you'd have to type any path so I'll just select it here and it'll bring up a, a little dialog box and in this dialog box there are different things that we can do we have camera we have target and we have some animation settings now in the camera we can use a point or a path, the target we can use a point or a path, and then here's some general settings. How many frames do you want to see? How many seconds do you want this to run? But before we get carried away here, let's just do a couple of basic things. Let's pick a path and let's pick a target. So right now I don't have either of those things defined yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to establish a path. And I'm going to use an AutoCAD classic arc and I'm just gonna draw it right around where I want my camera to, to, to go along and what it's gonna do is it's gonna the path is gonna take it's gonna be above this inter, uh, above this interference looking down on it so what I'll do is I'll tell it that the elevation of this arc is at 40 feet so it's looking down on this point so let's take a look at this in 3D. Now if you want to make an animation of a 3D shaded view, you have to be in that view. If you do the animation from a 2D view, then all you'll see is 2D information. You, you, this might not make sense, but it'll make sense later. So I'm going to reissue the animation path command here. Okay, here it is, any path. And let's pick the arc as the path and here I'll just give it a name, I'll call it arc1. And here let's pick the target, what do we want it to look at? And I'm just gonna pick a point. So I'm gonna define my point, I'll zoom in to get it kinda close, and I'm gonna use my building system snaps. And I'll call this interference1. Now here's a couple of animation settings. How many frames do I want per second? How many f number of frames? But 
more than, more than that I want to do a, about seven seconds worth of video here and when I change that my frames will automatically update for me you see how we have 230 frames here now and we can save any kind of file format we want here I'll just do an AVI and we can do any kind of resolution we want now I just want to keep this small because I want to email this out to my architectural partners or, or maybe my uh, my fabricators or something now we can corner decelerate and we can reverse the path I'll just hit OK here and it's asking me for a file placement I'm just gonna put it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it I don't know interference uh, interference in a hall okay I'll save it now now it goes through this process very quickly I haven't done anything to modify the video production but as you can see it's already on 50 of 200 plus frames so at this point it's about 50 percent and uh, you get a little preview window of what it's going to to look like when you produce this video and at this point we're about 80 percent done and in a couple seconds we'll be 100 percent done with this and what I'll do is I'll show you a couple of things about this video that we just created now on my desktop what we'll do is we'll look at the properties and we'll at what I want to focus on is the file size it creates relatively false smile size fall small file sizes that you can email to your partners and let's take a look at the result what does this actually look like as you can see here this is the low resolution video capture of that interference four things to remember about visualization for interferences use the animation path command also known as motion path animation tool to capture video context of an interference Leverage the program button search capability when you can't find the tool you are looking for in the ribbons. Define your paths or points using line works and snaps for your camera path and targets. You can create videos of your 3D shaded models only when you're in that view. Starting the AntiPath command with a 2D view will result in a 2D video. On behalf of Autodesk, my name is Jay Ayala and the video you just saw is AutoCAD MEP 2010 Interference Detection Part 3.